Hey guys, Michael Stillwell here from Stillwell Pianos in Mesa, Arizona, and you just listened to a 1922 Mason and Hamlin A. So I'm sure you've watched a lot of our videos at this point on our website. Mason and Hamlin is my favorite piano brand. It's what I have in my house. I absolutely love these pianos. And we talk a lot about golden era pianos. So golden era pianos are pianos made in the United States, uh, basically between like 19, I would say 1890 and 1930. Um, and sometimes people will kind of push those numbers out a little bit, but that's kind of the general time right there. And that's when American pianos were made at their peak. Like that was the peak of manufacturing in the United States. We had our five great Baldwin, Mason Hamlin, Steinway, Chickering, and Kanabi. Those are the top five pianos that we've rebuilt still to this day. And Mason and Hamlin is my favorite one. They're still made in Boston right now. Um, and I absolutely love these pianos. Now this is a 1922 and that when you're in the golden era, getting in the 20s is ideal. That's like the perfect, perfect time um, in the golden era, especially with Mason and Hamlin. So this is a phenomenal year. Unfortunately, we did not rebuild this piano. Somebody else did. So from the looks of this piano, that looks like they rebuilt this piano probably about 20 years ago, maybe 10 to 20 years ago. They did a really good job. Um, they did not replace the action. I'm going to pull that and show you what they did in there. They did replace the hammers, but they just rebuilt the action. But they did pull the plate, uh, refinish the plate, put a new pin block in, restrung the piano, and shim the soundboard. There's a shim in the soundboard that reopened up, and we've sealed it again um, our way, so it shouldn't open ever again. So the piano board is all sealed. Um, and this piano has at least another 20 years of good life in it. So let me go around to the front. I'm going to pull the action and show you what we got going on inside. All right, now that I got the action out, I can show you what we got going on inside. So, first and foremost, these are oval hammers. So they've replaced the hammers. These are really nice German handmade hammers. We typically use Renner because Renner is in Scottsdale, Arizona, and we're really good friends with them, and so we use a lot of their products. But we do love oval product as well. In fact, we're kind of switching over to using a lot of oval products because they're just so well made. I'm loving the bloom that comes out of these oval. These are called oval naturals. And they kind of create this like blooming sound when you play. If you've noticed, the piano is very sweet sounding. Um, but when you get down here in the bass, the bass kind of, even when you're playing soft, it kind of envelops like this. And that's what we get out of these nice, really nice handmade hammers. Now the action itself, when they rebuilt this piano, they kept the original action. This is the original whippins, hammer shanks, flanges, but they were able to save all of that and what they did is they rebuilt everything. So as you can see, they replaced all of this hammer rest felt and they refelted the entire action. So they soda blasted everything, pushed all the center pins out and replaced all this red felt and center pins um, with new uh, center pins and new felt and they even replaced these um, strings that are in here on these uh, Mason Hamlin style whippins. So this is a full rebuild. They also rebushed the key sticks and recovered the key sticks and painted their sharps. They did a really, really good job on this rebuild. This is one of those pianos that I'm always just like, man, I wish we were the ones that rebuilt this piano because whoever did it did a really, really good job. As I mentioned, this piano was rebuilt probably about 10 to 20 years ago. The finish itself is in really good shape. What we've done to it is we've completely uh, rubbed it out, re-rubbed it out. This is the satin finish. So these panels are sprayed gloss black and then hand rubbed with steel wool, with 5 aught steel wool. So we've done that. There are some dings and stuff that you might notice. Um, the piano wasn't fully refinished by any means by us. It was probably 20 years ago, but there's you know a couple little dings and scratches. But I would still give this piano an A- rating. Um, yeah, on the fall board there's one as well, but they're minor and you gotta go looking for them. So I would definitely give this an A minus rating on the finish. Um, and we actually uh, did put some spray and lay on some of the parts of the piano that wear out more so that you can continue rubbing it out without rubbing all the way through to the primer. So guys, if you have any questions about this particular piano or any other piano on our website, always feel free to shoot me an email at michael at stillwellpianos.com. Thanks for watching, guys.